politics and decision making. And we always talk about, you know, uh, trading is about decisions. I mean, at the core, it's about improving your judgment's accuracy um, to make decisions that have a greater expected value. And of course, we're human. So we have biases and heuristics and, you know, we need to minimize the mother of all biases, which is overconfidence. And mm -hmm. so we tend to have too much confidence sometimes, and we need to accept that we do make mistakes. So that leads me to the next part of this question, which you talk about extensively in your book, risk management. And last time we met, you brought up a fantastic point, reduced position sizing is a mm -hmm. great way to minimize risk and reduce emotion. Um, yeah. Could you please talk about that as well as your overall risk management thinking, please? Sure. So the important thing to realize, if, if you're not a trader, uh, you may not realize this yet, but you nobody gets smarter once they're in a trade. All right. When, when, once you put a position on and you're in a trade, emotions can start to stir. All right. And when the emotional brain is in control, your ability to make high quality decisions is compromised. All right. The, the, the executive brain kind of steps aside and the, you know, the emotional brain, the lizard brain kind of takes over uh, and it's not as good at making decisions. So anything you can do to keep the emotions very low level uh, will help the executive brain to, to run the show. And I always say, if if my emotions stray beyond mild contentment to mild disappointment, I'm trading too big. And I need to either reduce my position size or reduce the number of positions that I have on, but I've got to get less risk. You know, I've, I've got less, less risk exposure. I've got to get, take risk off my book. Um, because if you're if you're feeling exhilarated or, or you're feeling despair with, with every swing of the market, you're going to make really, really poor quality decisions. Mm 